Ron and Katie. Hello. Oh right. God, it's like all these voice coaches are floating around. Aren't they? I wonder oh. why. Oh, what are they doing here? You just flew in to Australia. I just got here. Yeah, in from London. It's a long flight. Isn't it just? It's a long mm. flight. But I'm good. I'm excited to get into the show. But this jet lag hurts. Is it with age or what? I don't know. But it's really hurting me now. Do you drink on the plane? Yeah. I reckon that's it. Well, I mean, I'm not going 23 hours without having a glass of wine. I mean, come on. Are you kidding? Are you, I saw someone in the news saying the other day that airlines are thinking about taking alcohol off planes. I'm just not flying. Yeah. <laughs> that's Get it. I'm getting a boat. Yeah, that's it. So it's going to take, take me like a couple of months. Can you imagine oh, the amount of booze on that boat? <laughs> You'll be drunk for days. Uh, you've just flown in from London. Yeah. Um, doing the voice here and probably seeing a lot of young artists over there as well. What do you think the difference is between Australian singer-songwriters versus ones from Britain? Uh, well, I think we've seen a huge influx of um, young singer-songwriters coming out of Australia. Um, I don't know if it's because of the shows or just people have the guts to actually just pursue their careers mm. now because there's definitely this thing in Australia or there was this thing where it was like taboo. No, no, you, you'll never you'll never do You're not Jimmy Barnes. You're, yeah, so. you're, you'll never be able for this. Mm. You, you're not, you, you know, you're not cut out for it. And I think it's like that has been lifted. That, that whole taboo has been lifted and people are going of all ages and all walks of life are going you know what I can do this and maybe I think it's shows like The Voice that have made you know got, given people the confidence to do that which is great yeah it is because I mean we have a tradition in Australia of cutting people down with a bit of tall poppy syndrome yeah so. they, you know my wife's Australian she tells me that we have it in Ireland as well it's called begrudgery it's the same thing yeah and, and it's you know it's tough on people because they do feel the weight and the responsibility of that and you know what I know, mm. I agree with you. Yeah, get up and get on yeah. with your life. Niall is going to be releasing new music soon. I know you guys are mates. Yeah. Has he lent on you for any advice in the solo domain? No, not at all. We played a bit of oh, golf. that sounds like it hurts. No, you didn't no, ask him. no, no, no. <laughs> he didn't ask him. No, no. no. no I don't know. Um, he's not. He hasn't started recording just yet. But no, he's been playing too much golf lately. He's playing a lot of golf. What's he play off? I think he's off sixteen. Yeah, oh, he that's is. All right. Yeah, yeah. Hmm. I thought he'd be lower than that. Though, yeah, <laughs> the amount he plays yeah, should be. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and holding his own tournaments. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Come on. We have been- the hit thirty.